welcome to September 17th. Today is National Professional House Cleaners Day. It's estimated that in the next few years, 8 out of 10 dual income homes will be needing to have someone come help them with their cleaning needs. So whether someone works for a big cleaning company or an independent company, such as my friend Christy, it's a good day to thank them for all they do to keep the germs away from us. And it's also National Apple Dumpling Day. Peel the apple, toss it in with some cinnamon and sugar in the dough, bake it, and yum. Moving on, 7th uh, grade, this is most of our year. Today, September 17, 1787, the Continental Congress adopted the United States Constitution. Our forefathers, there were actually 55 of them, but we talk about Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and George Washington, all signed the Constitution. Madison is by many considered the father of the Constitution. It created the framework of the government that we have today. Married to the Constitution Day is Citizenship Day. In 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt proclaimed I am an American Day. Later in 1952, it was changed to Citizenship Day, and we honor all those that came to our country and became legal U.S. citizens. Last up today, because what kind of a day would be without more food, it is Monte Cristo Day. The Monte Cristo is a French sandwich that is a toasted ham and cheese that is oftentimes coated with an egg and fried up uh, sometimes with uh, some jam and some powdered sugar as well. Moving on to today in history, as I already mentioned, today being Constitution Day, the Constitution was signed in Philadelphia. It wouldn't be long after that Delaware, the first state, would ratify it, followed by eight others, making nine of 13 colonies, and away we went with the Constitution. In 1849, Harriet Tubman made her first escape from slavery. She was in Maryland, and she traveled with two of her brothers to get north. In 1862, the Civil War was well underway when the bloodiest single day of the war took place at Sharpsburg, Maryland, the Battle of Antietam, where between 22 and 23,000 men lost their lives as General George McClellan for the North and Robert E. Lee for the South squared off. Uh, it was so bad that the area uh, where the men met was called Bloody Lane. In 1911, the first transcontinental flight from New York to Pasadena, California began. It would go from today, September 17th, till November 5th to make the flight. Overall, just over eight hours in the air. 1916 saw Baron Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron, take his first combat flight for Germany over France. In 1920, 12 teams got together in Canton, Ohio, and agreed to pay $100 each to form the American Professional Football League. Two years later, it would change and become the NFL, the league we have today. Go, Pat, go. In 1934, the first 33 and a third record by RCA Victrola came out. The first song, you're listening to it, Beethoven's Fifth. 1954 saw America get enthralled by William Golding's book, The Lord of the Flies, which many high school students have read over the years. The Lord of the Flies is about a group of boys stranded on an island, and they try and decide how to govern themselves. 1972 saw this television classic.
And in 2019, America welcomed Greta Thunberg to the U.S. Congress to talk about climate change. Our people in general don't seem to be very aware of mm. the actual science and the how severe this crisis actually is. So I just think we need to inform them and start treating this crisis like, like the existential emergency it is. Then I think people will understand and want to do something about it. First day is today. We'll start with Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben. Von Steuben was a helper to George Washington. He came from Prussia and at Valley Forge, he helped teach the American colonists how to actually fight like soldiers. In 1923, Hank Williams, you're hearing him now sing to you. Happy birthday, Hank. On this date in 1949, Looney Tunes created the Roadrunner. Meep, meep. And last but not least, in 1995 Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes was born. Well, gang, once again, we've reached the end. You know the drill. Repeat after me. Everybody, be kind. See you tomorrow.